What's up guys? We're the Spot Markers. <laughs> if you like this video and you want to see more of what there is to do in San Francisco, please like, share, and subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can see what spots we mark next. Bing. So recently, after coming back from our European tour, European tour. <laughs> we went to, uh, to Feast, which is a, a fine dining experience brought to you by One Dome yeah. in collaboration with Chef Nick Ronin. Um, One Dome is we, we're big fans of. Uh, You've seen the videos. Yeah, of the, Unreal Garden. Unreal and Garden and Liminal. Liminal, uh, which pretty cool. I'll leave links in the comments below, or in the description below, so you can watch those videos. If you haven't already seen them, you should definitely check them out. Um, but it was a lot of fun, right? What did you I say? loved it. I thought it was great. I, I believe currently the five course tasting menu is one hundred sixty nine dollars. That that's about right. That comes with a herbal beverage from Elixir, which is the herbal beverage bar outside. Uh, it also offers two or three, I'm not sure, um, beverages, either beer or wine, or an alcoholic. It, I believe there's also different pricing tiers where if you wanted to do a wine yes. pairing, you could pay a little more. If you want to do a champagne pairing, that's also an option. Uh, they do have vegan options, which is nice, of course. Gotta, gotta help out the vegan homies. Uh, <laughs> as well as, it, if you purchase a ticket, you do get entrance to either Liminal or possibly, I believe, Unreal Garden. And I believe you also get entry into Monarch, uh, the nightclub right on the block on Mission Street. <laughs> Aww. We were hoping they'd have the tilt brush set up again, but they don't, so it's kind of a bummer. The most the, unique thing was that the, the soup, the soup. Yeah. was like a pea soup with with crispy pork, crispy shredded and pork beets, on it, and beet chips, beets. and that was great. I liked it. Yeah. It was kind of like a pea kind of soup. I think it was I a know, pea they, soup. The, yeah. the cool thing about it is they served it in a champagne coupe. Yeah. You know, and so it was kind of fancy, and it was it was very nice. <laughs> Where's my crystal ball? 
special, the man behind it all, Chef Nick Browden. Welcome. How are you guys? Great. Awesome. Welcome home. <laughs> uh, I will bring you to a journey tonight. Five courses. I hope you'll feel it. I hope you understand it. And I hope I will create memories. During the dessert course, when it was the sorbet, yeah, everything was icy and looked like crystals yeah. and. And the dessert, uh, which was a, um, oh, it was a ginger pear sorbet in olive oil, and this olive oil was absolutely. I mean, I'm not one of those. Ooh, we're going olive oil tasting. Like I can normally not tell the difference. <laughs> I mean, people Did do people that. go olive oil yes. tasting? Yes, 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 absolutely. That's a thing. And so um, I was like, yes. But I want to talk about this olive oil because it really made an impression on me. No, it was that good. Like I told, you know, the chef, I was like, wow, that is some, like, you know, we have olive oil here. We use it all the time. But like, it doesn't have the kind of flavor that this olive oil had. Hmm. He, he didn't seem impressed. I was extremely impressed and I'm, mean, hard, was, I'm was, hard to impress. It was, it was good olive oil. It was fantastic.
So if you're interested in going to Feast, though, definitely you need to buy the tickets ahead of time. Absolutely. They only do two seatings a night on Fridays and Saturdays, and it's 32 people per seating. It was very similar to the Liminal experience. If you've been to Liminal already, you would probably notice that it's the range is about two to three feet away from the surface that the projection is being projected on. Is like the sweet spot of where you get the most play. Because you can only interact with some of the lights and not all of them, uh, sometimes it, it felt a little foolish, right? Where like we'd be sitting there waving our yeah, hands like, over the what table. Yeah, like, do? Oh, nothing. You have and to yeah, make. maybe it didn't do anything. Um, but it, even when it didn't do anything, it was still really interesting. It was beautiful, yeah. It was, they did a really nice job Very vibrant. Mm -hmm. The music seemed to correspond with, with, with the lights and all of it, all the theming definitely corresponded with the courses that you ate. Mm -hmm. So I definitely say if you wanted to do something fun and unique mm -hmm. and, and unusual. Not for, your normal like dinner, movie, yawn. Right, exactly. If you wanted to really impress somebody on a first date, I think. Or if, well, maybe yeah. if you had friends coming from out of town, I think for like sure. a, a date night would be great. You could probably double date, double date a small group of friends. I don't think I would go with more than four people total uh, because not everybody would be able to talk to everybody else because of the way the table's lined up where you're sitting across from people. But I think, yeah, if you're looking for something fun to do in San Francisco. It's different. Yeah, especially when you factor in, you can easily spend an hour in liminal oh, at least. before or after the meal. Yeah. I think you definitely get your money's do worth. Do they do the seating, or after the last seating, do they do liminal after? Because I know that they close at 10, right? I'm well, not they, sure, actually. They might not let you go in after. I, I think, actually, I think the website does say you should go to liminal before go. the final seating. So, so go check it out. You'll like it. Feast. Feast. By one dome. Feast. <laughs> whoa, whoa.